Oh, let's see what we got. There he is. Hello, guys. Oh, okay. I know this How guy. are you, Mark? What's up, dude? All good. Welcome to Menace and the Man. Sorry we're a little tardy. No problem. No problem. It's Dan. As long as, I'm, as long as I'll make practice, then I'm happy. Yeah, what time is practice? It's in 45 minutes. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, you'll make that. Where, where are you right now? I'm in Vegas. I'm okay. at my my hotel in Vegas. It's close though, so you're training at the UPI. Close. I train at the UFC PI, and then I train at Extreme Couture. Okay, nice. All right, so you're in good hands. What's the next scrap you got lined up? The next what? The next scrap you got lined up. The next bout, boom. The next fight? Yeah. I don't know yet. I, I don't know yet. I'm just staying ready. You know, just putting in the work. So. Yeah, staying ready so I don't have to get ready. Where are you originally from? Denmark. Denmark. And you got some you got some some hardware while you're wrestling at Denmark. Uh I my hardware is basically wrestling, right? Yes. No, he means by hardware he means you got some hardware. You got you got, you, you got some medals in the Olympics and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah. I got yeah. I'm a I'm a five time world medalist, three time Olympian, and an Olympic medalist. So, you know, I've been at it for a long time, and uh, I've I've done I've done okay at, at yeah. wrestling. When when did you start wrestling? Well, I started wrestling when I was six years old. So I've been basically been wrestling my entire life. I'm 35 now, so it's you know it's quite a lifetime. Yeah. Is that is that is wrestling big in your family? Like your dad wrestled and your dad's dad wrestled, or no, actually, I'm the first guy in my family to to wrestle. Okay. Uh, I have four brothers. None of them wrestle, so I'm I'm the only wrestler in the family. Dude, dope. Um, wow, that's wild. And not only are you the only wrestler, but a multiple time world champion at that, which is insane. That's something awesome that to, to hang your hat on, man. So, what made you decide to transition over into fighting? What made you want to start punch people? Well, to be honest, I've always been uh, fascinated by MMA. You know, it's been it's been something I've been <laughs> I've been watching when while on on training camp with wrestling, and it's it's all been a you know a passion of mine. So, you know, I've I've won medals in wrestling at all major stages. I'm a you know European medalist, world medalist, Olympic medalist. Um, I really wanted to to answer one question and that question is how good can i can i be as an mma fighter and that was really the, the thing that uh, that started the whole project yeah cuz cuz as a wrestler myself you know you're watching fighters fight and you're like i'll blow right through that guy there's no chance he's stopping me from taking him down and he's one of the best is no is that's your mindset when you first started watching mma right Pretty much, pretty yeah. much. Like, and, hang on, you know what? I, I have to be honest. I am the best Greco Roman wrestler in the entire UFC. I mean, uh, there's no one out there that can match my credentials in Greco Roman wrestling. I know freestyle is different, I know folk style is different, but when it comes to, to my craft, Greco Roman wrestling, I, I'm the best one in the entire UFC and, and, and in the world. So, right. you know, I'm here to <laughs> I'm here to compete with the best. Because you're watching MMA, you like it, and you're like, man, if I grab a hold of that man, and he's the toughest guy they got, I'm throwing him on his fucking head, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll murder him. That's that's what goes through your brain when you st first start watching it, right? I would I would say it was more like I think I can do this. Yeah, he's not. And like, then I, you know, he's like, I'm not gonna murder it, it, anybody, it, but I can beat him. It's guy. not. It's not about. I mean, this is MMA is a sport, right? And yeah. And, I was really curious about the fact, uh, could, could I do this? Yeah. You know, I've been one of one of the best in the world at at, at my craft wrestling, and you know, I'm I'm really here to to learn and know how good a, an MMA fighter I can become. Right. So you wrestled for 30 years. Now, how long have you been doing MMA? I've been doing MMA 100% for roughly 20 months. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, and you're so already in the UFC. Undefeated. Undefeated. I'm in the UFC and you know I'm I, I couldn't be more proud of uh, the 20 months I've been in 
in MMA, focusing 100% on MMA. I did have two, uh, let's call it hobby fights, back in 2013 and 14. Uh, however, I was on a, on a contract with the Danish Wrestling Federation, so I, I wasn't actually allowed to to train MMA, to, to do anything else than take care of my wrestling. So I did two hobby fights as a pro back in, in 13, 14, but, you know, it was last year, March last year, I decided to uh, to retire wrestling, skip the dream of winning an Olympic gold medal at the, the Tokyo Games in yeah. 2020, and decided to move in 100%, focus 100% on, on MMA. And, and basically, that's what I've been doing ever since, you know, getting up every single day, putting in the work, training, eating, sleeping, doing the best I can to uh, to develop my full potential. And so now you gave up wrestling for the time being. You gave up the gold medal. Is the goal a gold belt in MMA? <laughs> Gosh, man. That's well, a I don't, every, some people don't do it to be a champion. There's some people no just do chance it. this man came over just for the money. Listen, oh, listen, guys. I've I've been fighting. I've been you know wrestling the best of the best in the entire world. My yeah, basically my entire life. It's grueling, you know, and there's I, no easy I'm, win I'm, there. I'm here to compete with the best in the world in MMA as well. You know, we say in Europe, Rome wasn't built in one day, and it will take time. I have to develop. I have to put in the work. I'm here in Vegas right now. You know, I'm training with the best of the best. I'm getting pushed every single day. I'm here to develop my potential, and and I honestly believe. I have to the potential to beat the best in the world. Yeah. So, I mean, are you married? Do you have kids? I'm married. I'm happily married, you know, in some periods. And uh, I have two kids. Okay. Because I was like, man, this guy seems so focused. There's no chance he's going out chasing tail. Yeah. You know? Well, if he's married, he's not. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, when I'm going back to Denmark uh, in a week, I'll be going back on Sunday after the, the big fight on on Saturday. I've stayed in, in Vegas for a combined three months this year. So oh, wow. I'm, I'm dedicated. I'm, I'm here a hundred percent. I've been here, you know, focusing on one thing only, and that is develop my potential. My wife, my family is back home and, you know, have you, they'll, been, they'll, they'll, they'll have, do good. have you been anywhere else or it was just extreme couture from the jump? I've been at UFC PI. I've been at uh, extreme couture. I've been at the uh, 10th planet. I actually worked, uh, I tried to, uh, training at the king's mma in, in la but uh, you know mainly just I'm, I'm working out at extreme couture and i'm really happy with the, with the gym it's uh it's a gym with a, a lot of good wrestlers you know they have a traditional a lot of them have a lot you know especially the the founder the randy couture has a yeah a greg roman background so there's a lot of training that translate very good from my wrestling into mma and then that's what i'm really looking at you know, I'll I'll be basing my entire MMA game on my my background and my skills, my craft as a Greco Roman wrestler. Where do you think your weakest aspect of MMA falls? Well, to be honest, I, I think right now I have to do you know work a lot of my cardio. Uh, okay. Being a wrestler, I, I had to I had to max my output during six minutes. Yeah. You know, so I, I know from a fact I'm very strong, I'm very explosive. Um, I can I can do <laughs> I can do a great output in six minutes. I have to adjust to MMA and and, and be able to do a great great output in or fifteen, 15 minutes, to you know, potentially minutes, potentially twenty five yeah. minutes. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the huge challenge right now. And what I can tell you, I did some tests at the UFC PI, and uh, I actually scored world leading in uh, in in two out of five uh, of the tests. That's you know the highest numbers they've measured in my division yeah. in lightweight in the entire UFC. So you know. My physique is, is based from wrestling, you know. That's yeah. where I've been uh, molded. So I need I I don't need strength. I need cardio at this point. I need to develop my cardio skills. Okay, because the thing is, like, and I've I've spoken to Stan about this. Like, you see this with a lot of wrestlers. They get away from their wrestling because wrestling is more strenuous and requires more energy than kickboxing. You know, so a lot of good wrestlers get away from the game plan. Of wrestling because man, I don't want to zap my lungs if I just stand here and kickbox this guy. I could do this for you know twenty five minutes, but if I wrestle hard, my harsh for twenty five minutes, like I'm not gonna I'm gonna be a piece of shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I can you know I can totally relate to that. So I think adjusting is a very good point. However, you know, you're not in that octagon alone. 
you have an opponent. Yes, and... yeah. So break him. So for me, I always... I can I can I can guarantee you when I get tired, he will get tired too, and he'll get more tired. So that's the whole mindset. Yeah, my mindset when I used to fight is if I'm tired, that guy is dying. He's dead. Yeah. If I'm tired, yes, sir. he's dead. You know? Yes, sir. Um, So training at Extreme Couture, something I've seen, you get a lot of rounds. You train a lot with Dan Ige, right? I've been getting some good work out in with Dan Ige, yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot of the good guys have been doing wall wrestling with uh, Gray Maynard. And, uh, you know, my manager, Ali, is really taking good care of me, pushing me sending me to the right places. I'm being coached in kickboxing by Dewey Cooper. He's been helping me a lot on my striking skills. So, I, you know, I'm really working with the best of the best in the game. And, you know, I'm getting up every single day, uh, you know, pushing it. Does Ali Greg actually told me to well, take it easy. Oh, yeah, right there you said you're training with Danny Ige, who's about to break into the top 15, one of the surging featherweights in the game. Ali, who's one of the top managers in the game. Gray Maynard, who's a legend, one of Menace's good friends. And uh, Dewey Cooper is like an unheralded. He's one of those guys that's always been like under the radar that deserves way more recognition. I've known about him for years. Yeah. Uh, does Gray know you're coming on the show tonight? I don't think so. Gray is my – me and Gray have, have traveled the world together. Yeah, when you go to practice. When you go to practice, awesome. you tell Gray you were on the Menace the Man show, and he'll be hype. Uh, love me. Some I will do beer. that. I will do. I will do that. Uh, what I can tell you, besides of being a legend, he, he has you know, great wrestling. I mean, I've yeah. I've, I've I worked with him I a bit. Him. He's, I wrestled yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy, man. And he beat me. Are you scared of Gray? <laughs> I love training with Gray. You know, this this is the mindset <laughs> as well. So whenever there's a guy who's able to challenge me, tap me, beat me. That's the guy I want to go with. So I love going with Gray. He has a lot of things that he can teach me. Yeah, but Gray doesn't tap you out, dude. <laughs> Come on. Well, I, I ask if you're afraid because I know he's a Puerto Rican. He's a quarter Puerto Rican, and he's a bully. He's mean yeah, to people yeah. sometimes. And he's a... also 40 years old. Yeah. He's he, an old man. Bro, he's still fighting, though. He's still training like I he's know. fighting. He's in shape. Yeah, he's no slouch, I'm sure. Do you have any word on Gray's next? Does he have anything in the works at all? No comments. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. I like that. I'll call him right now. I don't give a shit. So you're going to this card this weekend. Do you follow the fights or casual? I I'm going this weekend, and naturally I'm. Uh, I'll he, be. Uh, he breathes I'll be watching, shit, you know? dude. Well, I'm saying, do you like watch the fights, or you're yeah. like a casual fight fan kind? You watch all the fights every weekend, right? I watch all the fights, and I study, you know, <laughs> the entire lightweight division. Lightweight or featherweight? I'm a lightweight. Oh, you're a lightweight. I thought you were a featherweight. Okay, because I was going to say. No, I'm a lightweight. I actually competed uh, in wrestling in what would be closer to welterweight. But, you know, I've been coached by, uh, I've been coached by Martin Kampman. He's the, one of the, one of the pioneers of, of Danish MMA. Oh, gee. And yeah, uh, yeah. We, we decided to, you know, to make an impact, impact in, uh, at the UFC, we, we cut down to lightweight. So that, that is my, my de- Vision. You know, there. I think his name was was it Dean Lester? Dean Lister. Dean Lister. What about him? The freestyle. He's a Greco guy. He's a no, f- there's some Dean. No, Le- hang on. Dean I'm Le- thinking of Dean um, Lister's a jiu-jitsu guy. Who am I thinking of? La- was his last name Lester? The black dude that would. Yeah, that's Harry. Is it Harry Lester? Yeah, dude. I used to watch what? Harry Lester highlights all the time in high school. This guy would do super duck unders, grab people, and fucking throw them on their head all the time. He was awesome. Yeah, so so one of the things is I've actually wrestled uh, Harry Lester a couple of times. Uh, you know, I, I wrestled him at the World Championship 2009, and uh, he, he's actually – we started out as competitors, but he's actually a very good friend of mine. I, uh, when I wanted to transition into MMA, I actually went and visited him um, to learn some folk style and freestyle. So he, he's a very good friend of mine, and he's a super, super, or was a super talented wrestler. Now he's he's a coach. How old is he now? He, I think she, he would be around 35, 34. Oh, so, so I mean, kind of off topic uh so we're having a bar crawl for uh, i have my own day in the town of babylon it's called dance Bermuda's day and you know who's gonna come who um jansen jesse jansen do you remember jesse jansen harvard harvard national, harvard national champion i he did this a little uh 
international wrestling. I think he was he was on the ladder, but he is he was freestyle though. I don't think he, he was, was freestyle. Yes, yeah. no, but he yeah. he knows all the guys. No, yeah, freestyle but, or folk style. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, and you have you have you have to keep in mind. You know, I've been wrestling my entire life. I've been I've been training with uh, with Joe Ro- uh, Joe Warren. You know, yeah, yep. all the guys. Uh, a lot of the guys we 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 train at. Uh, at the Olympic Training Center in, uh, in Colorado Springs, we came over. I came over with the Danish National Wrestling at Rhino. Team. So I, I know, you know, I've met, I've met all the wrestlers. I actually trained back in uh, that was before the 08 Games. I trained at the the OTC back then when Comir uh, uh, was was still freestyle wrestling. So you know, I've I've met all the guys. I've seen all the guys. I've been, you know, I've been in the re- in the sport of wrestling my entire life. So I know I know a lot of the guys. As long as they've been in touch with the Greg Roman wrestling, I would, I would definitely have have met them. No, I don't think I don't think Jesse Jansen did any Greco Roman. But big fight weekend. Women you got do to, freestyle. What'd you say? Women do freestyle? Yeah, women they, they only do freestyle. There's no uh, no women do Greco Roman. Oh no, Jesse Jansen's a guy. Oh sorry, man. Sorry. No, nah, all good. Oh no, he's he's actually the studliest guy yeah. like that you'll ever meet. Yeah. Okay. But okay. yeah, so I get what it, you mean. It might fit. Jesse could be a boy or a girl's name. Yeah. But big fight weekend this weekend. You got some teammates on the card, right? Puno Soriano. You consider Jessica I a teammate, I'm sure. She's extreme couture. Do you ever yeah. tra- do you ever train with Jessica I? I've been at you know been at multiple trainings with Jessica I. I haven't trained with her. I, I did a bit of training with Puna, who's who's doing his debut now. Uh, you know, and Dominance MMA has four guys on the on the fight card this weekend. So it's it's a massive you know besides being a massive event, it's a massive event for. For my management as well, so I actually just came from the UFC PI where I met uh, Usman and uh, and Ali, and you know, guys are looking good, looking ready. Us- tell, Usman tell Us- and Menace used see, to be good friends. Yeah, if you see Usman, tell him I'm looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that on Sunday. Let's give him some, you know, some time here to focus. Yeah. Well, Men- Menace been looking for him. He hasn't found him. It's like, where's Waldo? Yeah. So obviously, you're gonna go with Puna. You're gonna go with Jessica I. We'll get into the into the big ones. We got uh, who do you think wins between Matt Brown and Ben Saunders, two legends in the game? You know, I would rather not get into uh, to picking fights here, so I, I'll let that uh, you know be decided by you guys, the experts. Oh no, we're I'm not. A, you know, I'm no, I'm, ex- a... I'm no expert. Oh well, I was only going to go that one prelim fight, and then I was going to go into the main card. So you're not a you're not a fight pick. You don't like to do that publicly. I rather not. What are they gonna do? Beat you up? <laughs> you know, when when that time comes, I'll I'll be calling people out. But right now, it's about developing. So uh, right. you know, let's. Uh, I like I like to stay focused on my practice. I like to stay focused on things that I can control. And uh, you know, I've I like the, to pick fight, but the only aspect of the fight you can control is your cardio. So you should probably start running right now. You gotta go. I got to go. I got to go to practice. All it's right, time. Bro. All right, Mark. We definitely want to get yeah. you back on the show. You seem like you're a nice guy. We enjoy talking to you. We definitely want to get more into your career, more into your backstory. Yeah, I want to hear street fights. We always want some street fight stories. In Denmark. Any good wrestling yeah. stories you got. So when you book your next fight, I'll reach back out to Dominance and let's get you back on the show. Listen, guy, I got a tons of stories. Some of them yeah. are better offline, but, uh, you know, you're always welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I like that. If you got to water them down, or what we yeah. always talk about is hypothetical stories. Yeah. That... So you could change names. You could say this might have happened, and then you use your imagination. Yes. I might have heard, but yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it done. All, All right, right man. Sure. Shake it big. Have a good practice. Tell Gray Maynard I said what's up. Tell, Graynard, you, I... tell Gray Maynard you yeah, now tell... know the menace. Yeah, tell Graynard. <laughs> well, what do you call him? Graymond. 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 Yeah. Say what up, Graham. I will. All right, man. It was nice meeting you, <laughs> dude. Take care. Take it yeah. easy, my man. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.